How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at what I think is one of the most, if not the most impressive map that Quixel has given us. Now, if you're new to the channel, I do a lot of tutorials uh, on Unreal Engine, how to make things in Unreal Engine. And I know I got a search of subscriber after my Witcher 4 reaction. So if you're new and you want to learn more about Unreal Engine, stick around, subscribe, hit that like button. And uh, let's get to see one of the things that you can build inside Unreal Engine. So right off the bat, it's pretty impressive. As you can see, you got all the assets down here. All of these are mega scans, by the way. All of these, from the looks of it, it's a quick zoom map. It's likely all of these things are mega scans and they're available for free all the way until December 31st. So make sure you claim the mega scans. I do have a video on the channel on how to claim all the mega scans for free because once january starts the mega scans will no longer uh, be free so if you're watching this video before the new year make sure you claim those now let's get started so we have this water uh frankly it looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie it looks pretty good although uh i've seen other types of water solutions in unreal engine that look a little bit better this is just a texture map on top of a plane, which is fine. Again, um, this is not the focus of the map, but as you can see, it has all sorts of uh, cool stuff like caustics, nice reflections, nice ripples all around. And you can see this performs pretty well. So if I put the um, frames per second, you can see that it's performing uh, around 60 50 frames per second which is um very good for how dense and how highly detailed this scene is now this scene is using unreal engines uh, virtualizing technique for geometry called nanite uh, as you can see some of the triangles are moving as i move the purpose of nanite is you get more optimized mesh when you are using really high polygon assets like all of these so these are extremely detailed assets that you otherwise could not be able to use if you weren't using Nanite. So as you can see, if we get close, you can see that the wood, it's all geometry, all the cracks and crevices that you can see from this. Everything is geometry. It, it's so, so good looking. And this is, wow. Uh, there are a lot of volumetrics here. They're fog cards. Oh, okay. So they're optimized. These are fog cards. It's not actual volume, but you can see all the geometry in here. Amazing. Uh, I'd say, oh, look at the, yeah, there's some rocks falling. Oh, that's pretty good. You can see, um, the other map that I remember it was this detail was the medieval map, which I don't know why it's not available, but I, I do have it. So we will have a tutorial on that but everything else here is impressive so let's climb let's climb the stairs for this ruins let's go a little bit faster um this one it's it's pretty special now that the witcher 4 trailer got out and it's it kind of has a scene with a cave going inside some mountains like this i think it's pretty impressive uh there needs to be some jumping over here but this actually could be a good game level now we're getting in it's getting very very dark very yeah, very ominous you can see this scene right here pretty cool kind of like the shimmering of the moisture coming down pretty good and if we look a little bit under the hood you can see all the things that conform this scene is not only assets these thing that we have here uh they are what we call decals so if you've been around the channel uh, for a while, you probably know everything that I'm mentioning. I just, uh, I know there, I got a, a lot of new subscribers. So I want to be thorough. Um, these are textures that you put on top of geometry. Again, it's another way of optimizing human engine and adding even more detail than what these things already have. And as you can see, we have a light right here that's shining down. That's creating. And usually when you're making a game, you add a little bit of lighting on top of something that's telling the player, you know, there's something important here. And there it is. 
Looks like uh, somebody was looking for some gold and didn't make it out. Uh, too bad. This, yeah, but this sword looks amazing. All of this. Look at the armor. Very impressive. And you got all the cold gold down here. Pretty, pretty good. Some nice chest. Probably. That person pr shouldn't shouldn't have been here. Uh, and as you can see, we got some water going on inside this cave. This kind of reminds me of those Quixel stairs we got a long time ago. Uh, I, I think I have a... Yeah, I have a showcase of that map in the channel. Very, very impressive. And if I was a player, I'd probably go here. Because I, you never, you never go, you know, where the game is telling you to go. You always like to explore. There's nothing here. It's just a placeholder for something. If we come back here, you can see the stairs, how everything is made. And these are all things that you can make inside Unreal Engine, by the way. And I'm going to be doing a new series of tutorials where I go step by step. For anyone that's just a beginner, you don't have to be a game developer. You don't have to be a 3D artist like myself. You'll be able to make stuff like this in Unreal Engine. I'll show you how, so make sure you subscribe for that. Let's keep going. Uh, some green stuff here. Kind of like a necromancy. Uh, but if you look up, uh, you can see that you know, there are several stairs over here. And that's, this is the part where it's really interesting about this map. You'll see how deep this thing goes because the quicksum map um, i'm sorry the medieval map that we had before only went so far but this this one goes hard so let's let's keep going now we just get in here exposure it's adjusting a little bit and we just follow the path if this was dark souls there'll be an enemy here we would have already died uh but as you can see we got some nice looking rooms over here this is a fantastic level, not only for virtual production, but also for games. And you can see there's some rocks and some stuff falling. Um, probably Chaos, I guess, or Niagara. Looks like this shader hasn't loaded for that rock that just fell down. There you go. There's that rock. Yeah, the shaders haven't loaded for that one. But if we look into the distance, uh, there's some stuff down here. Maybe you could go there. Although I've already been there, this is placeholder. There's nothing here. So as you can see, it's just uh, kind of like a background that you look at it. If you are new to game development, that's usually how it goes. Things that are in the background are not the most fleshed out. They're just there. Uh, so you can see uh, cool stuff in the background. Let's get further into these ruins. And we got into, I don't know, like an ossuary or place where like tombs, there's gold here. So who knows? Maybe this is what that guy was looking for. Pretty impressive. Everything. It's very well designed. We keep going this way. You can see the light shining through and this is possible because of Lumen. We got pretty good light optimization with lumen here so let me see the light that's shining through here is one of these and we can actually change it on the fly and that it's lumen for you let's leave where it was at 15. and we got some nice volumetrics going on and there is this. Uh, which way should I go? I don't know. Let's go this way. Why not? And it looks like oh, it's, oh, this is a cell. Oh, huh, it's pretty cool. There's stuff in here. There's another. Uh, nope. This is outside. We keep going this way. Uh, don't know where this is taking us. Got a bunch of chains hanging. That looks pretty cool. And I 
think we reached the end of this level, but there's more stuff to see. So, uh, I guess this is where they, you know, do the deletion of people. I don't want to say the word. My channel's clean. And, uh, yeah, maybe we can push somebody over there. If this was a, I don't know if this was a Fortnite map, but you could push people. That'd be hilarious. Uh, there's, uh, what in the world is this? I'm hoping this is an, this has to be an animal bone because it looks like a mega scan. Uh, we got cool coins, all Roman coins, according to the outliner. And you can see here, I think this is a piece of one of those ruins of those, yeah, Roman ruins from the mega scans. But over there with the runes, it looks pretty good. And let's see. Okay, so is this the end of the level? I'm going up? Okay, that's uh, already starting to show. And the camera is, is auto adjusting, like it has auto exposure. And where am I? This is kind of like a fake door. Okay. Let's go back from where we came in and go the other way. Back. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Let's see what it's up. Apparently, you can jump around here. And. Well, that's it. There's not much to see here, I guess. This part wasn't meant to be entered. From the looks of it. So, I think that is the end. That's probably the end. Let's go back to. Uh, the beginning I'm gonna break the illusion here you can see you know the parts where you're supposed to be the parts where you're not supposed to be that's how video games are made let's go uh, I just want to show you the other things that we didn't see which are those right here like these things around here they are um, not meant to be seen up close because if we get close, you can see how how low density they are in terms of polygons. This is pure normal maps and textures, which again, it's fine because it's something that you're supposed to see from afar. It's just decoration. If the player's not going to be around here, then there's no need to add uh, more extra detail. As you can see, this kind of looks like doors. But they aren't if we get closer and the textures start going a little bit low rest over here but it's all the illusion of a video game and even if this map was for virtual production like what i've done in the past um you usually things that are far away you, you don't spend that much um geometry wise all right so hope you enjoyed uh that little tour of the new quixel map if you're wondering what kind of computer you need to run something like this or to use Unreal Engine this way, there's going to be a video about that next week. So make sure you are subscribed and make sure you tune in. Um, I'm going to be releasing what specs am I going to use because I'm actually going to upgrade my computer before the year's end. And I'll have some suggestions for some budget options. Thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure you leave a like. It really goes a long way. To help out the channel leave me a comment if you're new to the channel what kind of things you like to see from unreal engine is there something particular that you want to learn i also have some discussions coming in about why companies are using unreal engine more and more so stay tuned for that and i'll see you in the next one